In this video, I'll be showing you how to name some carboxylic acid compounds, all right? Now, don't forget that we said the carboxylic acids are also called the alkanoic acid. Let's take these questions one after another. Let's start with question one there. So you have this compound here. Question number one. You have this compound here. Then this connected to OH. Now, if you want to write this in its structural form, this in its structural form can be written as CH3. That would be C1H, 2H, and then 3H. Then you have CH, that's CH. Down you have OH. Then this connected to C. OOH is this way. This and then OH. So basically, this is a structural form of the compound. Now let's see how this is this has been named. Now to name this compound, the first thing you want to observe that is that I have the OH group, that's for the alcohol, and also I have a COOH. So between the alcohol and the carboxyl group, okay. So the COOH, this is called a carboxyl group. That's carboxyl group. This. So between the alcohol, the OH, and the carboxyl group. Which of them takes precedence, okay? Which of them is being prioritized? Now, for a compound having the carboxyl group and the OH group, the priority is given to the carboxyl group. In essence, I will name it from this way. So it becomes one, two, and then three. So with this, you want to observe that I have a hydroxyl, right, or a hydroxy attached to carbon two. That becomes two hydroxy hydroxy okay also i have three carbon compounds in the longest continuous carbon chain carbon number one carbon number two and carbon number three and we do that three is called a probe so it becomes probe now this compound here is an alkanoic acid right it's called a carboxylic acid or an alkanoic acid now with the probe, you attach the anoic, so it becomes propanoic acid. All right. So the name of this compound is 2-hydroxy propanoic acid. That's how you name this compound. Let's look at the next compound. Okay. So let's look at this particular organic compound. Question number two. How do we name this compound? The first thing you want to note is to get your longest continuous carbon chain, which in this case would be starting from here. You have one, two, three, four, and then five. So you have five as your longest continuous carbon chain. And that becomes a, when you have five there, for five, what you have there is pent, right? Pent because you have five. And recall that in our previous class, we looked at how to name compounds that have something like this 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 having this as c o o h this and of course h o o c look at how to name compounds of this form in a previous class and for compounds of this form we said what you do is that you call the alkane you call it in this alkane form now since you have five five is a pentane again let me just get the let me get this. So from here, you have this. Let me get the longest continuous carbon chain. That's this. This carbon here. Okay. Then this, and then this way, and then this, and then this way, and then this. Then you have this. All right. So you have this. Now this gives you your five carbons, which is the pentane. Now you have OOH here, and then OOH here. That's two carboxyl group, which is a di oic right so it gives you a dioic again you want to observe that you now have this particular carboxyl group that is not part of the parent carbon chains so it's considered as a substituent so this this is actually a, a carboxyl a carboxyl um substituent and this carboxyl substituent is attached to carbon three so we come look at this is attached to this one here is attached to carbon three here as you can see it becomes three Carboxy 
this is a pentane becomes pentane, of course, dioic, dioic, and of course, it's also an acid, so dioic acid. So the name of the compound is 3 carboxy pentane dioic acid. That's how you name this particular compound. Now, let me give you a tax to try. Now, here's a tax for you. All right, you have this compound here. This compound you have here is also an alkanoic acid or carboxylic acid. Now, for this compound here, your tax is simple. Simply name this compound and leave your answer in the comment section. What will be the IUPAC name of this compound? Leave your answer in the comment section and I'll tell you if you're correct or not. All right. All right, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, like this video. Also, leave a comment. For the comment, all you have to do is look at this particular compound here. For this compound, all right, what is the name of this compound? Leave your answer in the comment section. Don't forget to also don't forget to also subscribe. If it's your first time here or you're yet to subscribe, please do well to hit the subscribe button and select all so that you get notified whenever we upload new content. And finally, do well to share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class. Get more by joining our Organic Chemistry channel membership or visit www.joneemanual.com slash courses and get the Organic Chemistry full course, both links in video description. Get more by joining our Organic Chemistry channel membership or visit www.joneemanual.com slash courses and get the Organic Chemistry full course both links in video description. Get more by joining our Organic Chemistry channel membership or visit www.joneemanual.com slash courses and get the Organic Chemistry full course, both links in video description. Get more by joining our Organic Chemistry channel membership or visit www.joneemanual.com slash courses and get the Organic Chemistry full course, both links in video description. Get more by joining our Organic Chemistry channel membership or visit www.joneemanual.com slash courses and get the Organic Chemistry full course, both links in video description. Get more by joining our Organic Chemistry channel membership or visit www.joneemanual.com slash courses and get the organic chemistry full course, both links in video description.